Hey guys, so I figured I'd hop on here like a minute early, but I wanted to give people a minute to be able to get on. I'm going to invite a few people. What's everyone doing tonight? I hope everyone's having a good night. So I'm going to be doing makeup tonight. That is what I chose to do. And I'm going to do something kind of different. I'm going to do something kind of fun. So when you get on, hop on and say, hey, make sure you share this video so your friends can see it. If you would, please, I would appreciate it. I'm also doing a giveaway at the end of the month for people who do share. So if you share, let me know you share so that I can put you in that. So I'm going to get started. See a couple people on. It's not telling me who's on. I don't know what's up with this thing. It's the meal wonky. So we're going to start out with the VFX strobe primer. This is a cream primer. This is what it looks like. And it sounds like my husband decided to get on the roof and like play with a telescope. I hear kids on the roof with him. Thank gosh we have heels, so it's not dangerous. It's probably my husband though. That's what it sounds like. But they threw the football up there and it got stuck. Is my lighting okay? Can you see me okay? I'm going to make sure my lighting's okay. I don't know why I can't see the comments, guys. It's really weird. So that's the primer. I'm going to let it sit for a second. I don't know why it's not showing the comments. Hey, Karen. How are you? I'm going to let that sit for a second. So, guys, do y'all want to see VFX? Or do y'all want to see CC cream? Which one do you guys want to see? Y'all tell me. So this is the VFX and this is the CC. Nine times out of ten, I'm a CC person, but I can use either one. Which one you want to? Which one y'all want to see? The VFX or the CC? Y'all tell me. I'll use either one. I like the CC for a quick, easy look. This is like my favorite thing in the world. Um, this is our VFX Pro Foundation. I really love the CC. It's my thing. So do y'all want to be to do CC or VFX? Y'all choose. If no one chooses, I'll probably do CC. <laughs> Honestly, I'll probably do CC cream. I don't VFX. Y'all want to see the VFX? Okay. I like both, but. Either one works for me. And I am 04. Y'all see my redness, right? So I'm going to do half face for you guys first. I'm going to have to order some more. I'm about out. If that tells y'all anything, I'm about out. It's spitting at me. It's on my hand. <laughs> oh, no, that's too much. We're going to do half face. I'm just going to dab it on. I'm really, really red, red today. And this coverage is buildable. So if you don't get the coverage you want, you can go back over it. I always tend to do my ears. You don't want your ears to not match. So you guys see that? You see the difference? Like a red to natural. It's awesome. All right, so let's do the other half of my face. We can't keep looking like that. I got like a little bump over here. I don't know what's up with that. And I use a kabuki brush. It's um, flat. All the bristles are the same length it's a actually like a buffer brush but it's called like a bookie brush and always go down your neck guys always Their products are amazing. Amazing. So 
So just like that. Redness be gone. No more redness. I'm going to go ahead and do my contour. I'm going to do some fun eye colors tonight because I felt like, you know, I like fun colors. So I'm going to do my contour. And I'm going to use a contour stick. It is not pharmacy. Do not judge me. I do not have everything pharmacy yet. But for this look, I really want a bold contour. And some people may not do this under their lip, but I do. It's just something I've always done. So, I'm going to make that meet. Okay. So, now I'm just going to use just another brush, different brush. I'm just going to blend it in. And when you're blending your forehead, never, like, I never do this because I don't want it too far down my forehead. So, I'm just going to brush it up towards my hairline because I don't have a big forehead. And I'm going to use the 3-in-1 face palette as well. Sometimes my forehead gets kind of wonky to blend. blend it in a little bit more so just like that with the contour stick and then I take I got these on Amazon I have all the brushes these are like my favorite brushes ever and they're purple which I love okay so we're just gonna take the three-in-1 face palette so it's got your contour your highlight and your blush all in one And you'll see why I chose these at your rings too. Ha -ha. We're doing some really cool colors tonight. I'm gonna go heavy on my contour. I don't always go heavy on contour, but I am tonight. Don't don't judge it. I'm not done. We're gonna do some blush. And then I'm gonna blend it all together. So just be patient. Just be patient. If I look kind of funny right now, it's okay. Highlight. This highlighter is amazing. I mean, I barely even tapped in it. And look, it's there. So let's take, I use our face perfecting powder is what I'm using tonight. I'm just gonna blend it all together. And I'm, a, I'm pinching my bristles on this brush cause it's kind of loose, but that's just the way I do it. Where's everybody at tonight? What's everybody doing? Everybody's quiet. I've been sick. I'm finally feeling better. Thank goodness. I didn't know if I was ever going to feel any better. It was rough. Hey, Teresa. What you doing, girl? I thought I invited my aunt, but yeah, I did. I thought I did. So. Okay. We're just going to blend that in. Blend, blend, blend. So, just like that, I'm not doing concealer yet because I'm going to do my eyes first. And I'm going to use my mirror on the 3-in-1 face palette to blend the mirror on here to do my eyes because I cannot see them any other way because I'm upstairs. And there isn't a mirror. So, we're going to do something fun tonight. I'm going to use our eye primer first. This is our eye primer. 
And when you put this on, your ma eye makeup does not move. This stuff is like amazing. Works really well. And sometimes I actually use it under my eyes as well. So. Just like that. Just for the eye primer. Make sure I got enough on my bottom lid. Because so I'm going to use our liquid eyeliner in the turquoise as eyeshadow tonight. Let's see how well that goes. Never done that before. But I've seen somebody else do it and I was like, I have to try that. So, we're going to try it. And I'm going to try it live with you guys. Because why not? That is just what I do. I'm getting out brushes, guys. Just bear with me just a second. I have like 20 million brushes. So this is the liquid eyeliner I'm actually going to use tonight as an eyeshadow. Let's see how well this goes. So I'm going to tap it where I want it for an eyeshadow. Tap it where I want it, just like that. You can't see. And then I'm gonna use my brush. Just gonna move it around. And I'm thinking I can build this color up. That's what I'm gonna try to do, anyways. I'm not liking that brush. Oh, yeah, it's buildable. Yup, yup, yup. Thought it would be. Just wasn't sure. Like I said, I've never even used this as an eyeshadow, so it is a first time for everything. Look how pretty. Look how pretty that is. I'm gonna have to order some more of these and try them. They have like a lot of different colors in this. But this is like my favorite color in the world. So, I had to try it. Hey Carly, how are you? I think that did pretty well. As an eyeliner, as a um, eyeshadow. All right, so now I'm gonna use our pigments. I'm gonna use the purple pigment. I'm gonna use the purple now. And I have the yellow over here as well. Oh, that's too much. All right, now I'm about to get up, up in the camera. I kind of want to mix that on the end a little bit. Not too heavy though. Just a little bit. Hey, Dwayne. Playing in makeup. What you doing? Actually, kind of like that. So that's the purple pigment with the turquoise eyeliner. That's pretty, really pretty. It's really pretty. All right, let's do the yellow. Let's do the yellow. And then I'm going to clean it up, so don't panic yet. I'm going to clean it, I promise. It's kind of jagged looking right now. So this is our yellow pigment. It's called pineapple. Ooh, that's bright. And 
remember, I have not done concealer yet, so this is the reason I didn't do concealer yet. Because I knew I was going to step out of my box with eye colors. It seems, always seems like one eye goes bolder than the other. There it goes. Alright guys, so the way I'm going to do this, so I'm going to take this yellow and I'm going to overline a little bit right here. Just to kind of blend all the colors together. Kind of make it pop. You'll see what I'm talking about when I'm done. So, stepping out of my box a little bit with these colors because they're, they're bright, but they're pretty. I really like them. So now I'm going to take just a fluffy little blender brush and just kind of, I'm not really going to blend a lot because these colors actually mix really well together, but just a little bit. Kind of knock off any excess that I have with the um, pigments. So actually really like that. What do y'all guys think? I think that's pretty. It's really pretty, I think. All right, so concealer. Let's do concealer, because I have to have concealer. I have to clean up those edges before I can do anything else. Don't judge me. I'm use my fingers in a second, but on the edge here, I'm not. Make sure I'm edging it the way I want it. We gotta do a brows. We gotta do brows. Just like that. And I just kind of belts it to blend it. Just kind of belts it. Just like that. Okay. Moving on. Let's do some eyeliner. Eyeliner makes a world of a difference, guys. I don't think I'm going to do a wing tonight. I think that would be a little too much. The eyes are really busy. But I am going to take it, and hopefully I do not do what I did last time and mess it up. So I'm just going to go right across my lash line. Oh, yeah, of course I do. I flinched. My eyes are still swollen from where I was sick, so it's kind of hard. I'll see that. <laughs> I'll fix it. But it's kind of hard. They're different, like they're puffy. So my eyelids feel weird. Y'all can't see me, I'm sorry. Just trying to get right at my lash line. There we go, that one did fine. If you're just hopping on, say hey please, so I know you're here. Okay. I'm going to take my brush now. I'm going to get this yellow because that's where it's at that I messed up. I'm going to take a narrow brush like this. Instead of wiping all your makeup off and panicking because there's a little smudge, take your brush and just, I'm going to turn it the right way, wipe it where that's at. And look, it's gone. It's gone. It's not there no more. 
Which mascara do you guys want to see? Y'all want to see Extreme Curl or the Zen? Extreme Curl or Zen? Either one. I'll do brows in a minute. I gotta dig out the brush. Y'all choose Zen or Extreme Curl for a mascara. Which one y'all want to see? You want to see Zen? Okay, I'm going to curl my eyelashes. I always curl my eyelashes. And you don't have to, but I do. I always curl my lashes. Hey, Ashley. So this is the Zen Mascara. I must get closer so y'all can see. Look at the brush. Okay, let me let me explain this brush to you guys. So it has a shorter side and a longer side. Y'all see that? So you got a longer side for lengthening. The shorter side, I feel like this gets closer and gets more darker. This side separates, in my opinion. You'll see. So I'm gonna use the short end. I'm going to use the short end, and then I'll flip it around and use the long end. Then use the long end on the bottom. That's how I use it. Just so y'all know what I'm doing. So the Zen is our more affordable mascara, but it is amazing. It's only $8.90. Now I'm like twirling the brush, twirling the brush. Now flipped it around. I'm using the longer bristles. Guys, can you see that? One coat of Zen to nothing, to something. It's amazing. Hey, Heather. So I'm going to do the other one with one coat. If I'm quiet, it's because I'm focusing. I'm really, really anal about my mascara. If you've never watched my live, I ain't like this is my most anal part of my live. Like my mascara has to be right. <laughs> So now I'm just taking my time with it and I'm using the longer end at the moment and I'm just kind of separating my lashes where I want them. So that's two coats. But for $8.96 guys, this is some awesome mascara. Then if you join, you get half off of that. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? It took me a minute to figure out Zen, and that's why I'm telling you guys how to use it. It's because it can be kind of tricky. But look at those lashes. Like, seriously. They are amazing. They are awesome. So, if you're looking for some good mascara, Zen is your friend. Okay? Zen is amazing. I love Zen. Okay, let's do brows. And I'm using dark brown. The dark brown. 
on my brows. Like my my eyelashes are almost such a my eyebrows. It's hilarious. And if people ever tell you brows don't matter, look at that to that. It's like an instant like lift. Brows matter, people. You need your brows done. It makes your whole face. And I'm barely tapping in this. And it's really, really pigmented. All of our stuff is. So, I have to go, like, way back with the how much I use. So, almost there. We're going to do some lip colors. Then I'm going to go natural with the lip since I've got the bold eyes. What do y'all think? And this is our brow design gel for your brows. And I normally just take like a really, really light coat and just kind of go over it like that. It just kind of makes sure that they're separated and they're laying where I want them. And they, they're not going to go anywhere. I'm putting my stuff back over in my little box. Because I'm upstairs. Alright, I'm going to use Lip Liner 227. Oh, I just put my mirror up like a ding dong. My dog is behind me. Bailey, get down. So this is lip liner 227. Now I'm going to go in with 206. These are our stay matte lipsticks. I'm just going to do a light coat. Crap, I meant to bring a cup. It's all right. And I'm going to ombre it with 202. I always ombre my lips. It's just a habit. Hey, Sheila, how are you? That side's already dry. <laughs> so just like that. And I'm going to dust over my forehead again. I'm not re-dipping, but that would be my final look. What do you guys think? Completely. I love it. I love it. If y'all want to try anything, let me know. Um, like I said, this is the Zen Mascara. It is awesome. It is so awesome. That's my final look, guys. So, I hope y'all have a great night. And I'm going to hop off and go see what my kids are tearing up. Or what my husband is tearing up. Or somebody. Sounds like they're tearing down the house. <laughs> so, I hope y'all have a good night. And I will see y'all tomorrow. See y'all soon.